Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. Today we're going to reevaluate the fatty and perhaps turn it into a weeknight staple, the Cooking Outdoors way, of course. So, as you may have noticed over the last several years, I did not jump on the fatty craze. Just wasn't interested in trying to outdo the next fatty sensation of bacon, pork, chicken, duck, turkey, stuffed with stuff. You know, I just didn't want to go there. Now, there's been some really great fatties out there. They're, they're, they're really, really good. But they're a heart attack waiting to happen. And I already had my heart attack, so I'm kind of curbing things back a bit these days. Now, you, they've, <laughs> I gotta tell you, there's fabulous cheeseburger fatties out there. There's pizza fatties out there. Some amazing uh, breakfast fatties out there. But there's also just fatties on fatties stuffed inside of fatties that are fatty, more fat and fat. And I just really don't enjoy that that much. But what I don't see a lot of is a, a fatty meal. You know, I mean, basically a fatty that has a whole meal in it that you would want to put on the dinner table on a regular basis. They, they may be out there. I don't know. I haven't come across any. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to tone it way back from the fat and then we're going to smoke it on the grill dome. And I think you're going to like this recipe because we love it. For those of you that are new to the grilling world and the barbecue world, a fatty is basically a stuffed meatloaf that is not cooked in a pan. It's really the best way to describe it. Uh, I'm going to go through the whole process with you and show you exactly how I do it. My fatty is perfect for using up a bunch of leftovers. It's exactly what I'm going to do. Before we put this together, let's go through the very few ingredients I'm actually going to use on this fatty. Uh, right off the top, I'm telling you, I'm not using bacon. Bacon's great on it, but it's just another layer of heart attack grease in there. And it's also kind of expensive these days. So to throw something together real quick for dinner, I just, I throw that idea out. I just don't want to go through a pound of bacon to make this happen. But I do have about one and three quarter pound of good country sausage, this ground country sausage. I have it in a one gallon zip bag because we're going to use that. And then I have some asparagus left over from the other night. Also this morning, I scrambled up some eggs with some bell peppers, onions, and garlic, and I have, I made a little bit of extra. So I have a yellow and a red bell pepper julienne with some onions on julienne, and about three cloves of garlic in here. I just sauteed a little butter and olive oil. Also leftover mashed potatoes, skin on for me. That's the way I like them. Now that rustic style, there's probably about two cups here. I doubt if I'll use that much. As far as a rub, we're going to use a dry rub on ours. You can also sauce yours up if you want. Entirely up to you. I mean, it's your fatty. You do it how you want to do. But I'm just using some uh, standard Montreal uh, seasoning mix to season mine up. Also, I'll have a pinch of so or salt of, and pepper. And then to really put it over the top, I'm going to be using some Cabot. Um, their new shredded cheese, and this is the two state farmers, New York and Vermont shredded cheddar cheese. And this is one of my favorites. Uh, so we're gonna be taking advantage of that and adding it on the inside of that. Strictly optional, but I tell you what, it really makes a difference. In addition to this, you're going to need a pretty good wide uh, sheet of saran wrap or waxed paper. I like saran wrap, it's easier to roll things up with. Um, I'm also going to be cooking this on my grill dome using a pecan uh, smoking wood for this. Uh, you can use it in a regular kettle or a gas grill and just add a little bit of smoke if you want. Smoke's optional also. Uh, you can stray away from traditional barbecue as far as you want to on your fatty. I do all the time. Uh, also, you'll need a wireless thermometer. I'm going with my uh, old standby, the eye grill. And what else? Uh, probably some gloves because it gets kind of messy. And other than that, man, let's just do this. I'm gonna start putting it together. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to take our ground pork. You can use hamburger, you could use ground turkey, uh, you could grind up filet mignon if that's what you really wanna do. It's your fatty, but I like the country sausage and I think it makes a really good uh, layer. It holds together really well 
and I just like the way it blends everything together. That's why this is really popular for breakfast because, <coughs> you know, the country sausage and, and eggs and cheese and, and bacon and onions and all that stuff is really just spectacular inside a fatty. But we're making dinner. So what we want to do is press this out until it's a pretty good even thickness. In this case, it's probably going to end up being about a half inch thick, maybe, maybe three eighths. Now that's what we're going to be forming our fatty inside of. This is going to make a nice log or a round, if you will. And to uh, get this going, we're just going to open it up and very simply cut along. Sometimes it tears, but these are pretty good bags, so I don't think that's going to happen. All right, so there is our fatty. It is time to get, well, it's not our fatty, but part of our fatty. Now we get the gloves on. We're going to start making a mess. So I want to start seasoning this up. You want to use a traditional barbecue rub. Turns out fabulous. You want to add a little bit of heat to it. Certainly add some if you'd like. Now I'm going to take my big sheet of saran wrap. And what I like to do is lay it over the top of that. And then I'm going to very carefully, not make a mistake on camera, and I'm going to flip it over, like so. Take my plastic bag out. I'm going to season it on the other side. This is my inside now. So, I want to take my fatty that I have down and I want to start putting my mashed potatoes down. Now keep in mind that you're going to want to leave a little bit off the sides and one end because we've got to roll this up and we're going to pinch and seal also. Just get that spread out evenly. You might go through a cup, you might go through a cup and a half, you might go through two cups depending if you want an extra giant one. It looks like I'm going to go through probably a good cup and a half here. Don't worry if your fatty spreads out a little bit as well. Now we're going to put on some cheese. It's the Cabot Two State Farmers New York and Vermont Shredded Cheese. You know I love using Cabot cheese. They're good friends of the Cooking Everything Outdoors show. And they make amazing cheese. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. My youngest said it didn't have enough cheese last time. Okay, Dad. Don't tell my cardiologist. So now I'm going to take my asparagus. I'm going to put that inside. Just lay it a nice little strip in there. What else could you use besides asparagus? Well, you could probably add uh, some broccoli in there or some cauliflower or green beans. You know, you can make this in a turkey uh, style with the ground turkey, like I did with my meatloaf, my Thanksgiving meatloaf. Get some ground turkey in there. You can get some, uh, some uh, stuffing in there. You get some green bean in there, some mashed potatoes. Uh, if I thought about it earlier, I'd be adding a little bit of cranberry to this too, but you know what, that's for the next one of these. And now we're going to add our peppers. And be as generous as you want on this. I like it fairly peppery. Jalapenos would be a good choice also. And then we're going to add our little bit of our pepper. Gives us a little bit more heat. And a little bit of salt in there. And that's it for the ingredients. I didn't say this was non-cardiac free, but you know what? We're doing a pretty good uh, reduction. So we're just gonna take and roll this up now. 
that is always easier than said than done. But I want to use my plastic wrap and I'm going to roll it, trying to keep the insides stay in place. Bring it around to where it's not all falling out. And then very carefully start forming your log. On the end, I'm going to squeeze together the country sausage to seal that off. Looks like a little bit sneaking out. Same thing on the other side. We're just going to pinch that in. Okay. That looks really, really good. So get it formed how you like it. You know, it's going to want to reinvent itself here. What I do quite often is I'm going to unwrap it real quick. Now that I've got my form fairly well made and I want to just turn it long ways. The reason I want to do this is going to be able to pinch this end off or this seam here. Redo the ends. And then I'm going to add a little bit more Montreal seasoning on there. And that's it. So let's wrap this back up. Got it formed really nice. Ends are pinched off, seam is sealed. Now for the bad news, this has got to go in the fridge for a couple hours. So it's a perfect opportunity to uh, go have a beer, fire up the grill, relax a little bit, and then we'll be back once I've got the uh, grill dome fired up. So my grill dome's just about up to temp. I'm ready to cook, barbecue, smoke, however you want to look at it. Uh, I put the fatty in the freezer for about 30 minutes because I kind of I'm shooting a video here, so I'm condensing things. The reason you put it in the refrigerator is because that helps it hold its form uh, because when you're molding it and rolling it, it gets kind of warm and loose and uh, you want to tighten that log up uh, as best you can. So refrigerator for a couple hours is perfect. If not throw it in the freezer for 30 minutes. So let's get this on the grill dome. Mm. We have that beautiful pecan smoke going on there. I try to gracefully place this on my grill. And we'll get the thermometer probe right in the center, far in the middle as we can. So we're going to smoke this for about two hours. I want to bring it up to 165. Because it's stuffed, you do have to cook it to 165 uh, to be safe. And probably cooking it at about 250 degrees. Okay, we've hit 165, been cooking for almost three hours. Quite a lot of mass there on that fatty, so let's take a look, see how we did. Oh yeah, that looks good. Mmm, tastes good too. So I'm gonna pull this off, gonna foil it, and let it sit for just a few minutes. Okay, so after about three hours, maybe just a little under three hours, roughly around 250 degrees, a little pecan wood, uh, our fatty revisited is ready to cut open. Let's take a look and see how we did. Didn't lose much in the way of mass, which is good, so there's not a lot of shrinkage. Oh, cuts like butter, and look at that. Wow. 
Ooh, yeah. Now that looks good. All right, the moment I've been waiting for, perhaps not you, but me, is the taste test. So as a reminder, we have our mashed potatoes in here. We have our asparagus. We have our peppers. We have our onions, our garlic, our cabbage cheese, a dinner, and one bite. Mm. I know you probably think I'm crazy because I say mm, every time I have one of my recipes, but actually I like them all. This is really, really good. What I love about the fatty concept is, is if you stuff it right, you can have a really a full meal. You make this the day before, throw it on the grill and the next day, and you know, in a couple, two, three hours, you have a fabulous dinner. So rethink the fatty. If you haven't tried it, give it another try, and I think you're gonna really, really enjoy it. I know that um, I certainly have a newfound appreciation for a less than a heart attack version of the fatty. And that's it. I will see you when I see you.